Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are in Houston, Texas today at the School of Automotive Machinists, and I'm here with student Jalen Victorian. Behind us right here is a 408 cubic inch small block Chevy nitrous engine, and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Jalen, thanks so much for giving us a little time here today. Uh, hopefully, we're, we're breaking up your uh, class schedule here to talk about some some cool engine stuff here. And this is actually an engine that you're building for yourself. Uh, it's, it's our understanding that you know most of the students get an opportunity to build an engine of their own. Yes, sir. So we get. We get a chance to build and dyno an engine here. Um, just from what we learned in class, from block class, from learning with Judson up there with, from theory, like going over oil clearances, pistons to wall clearances. Um, basically everything we learn from upstairs, we bring down and apply to the engine from the line home to the cylinder home to the surfacer to just measuring for push rod length to get the perfect rocker geometry. So basically everything we learn from upstairs, we apply yeah. to making this. That's engine awesome, run. awesome. Um, talk a little bit why, about why you wanted to do a small block Chevy platform. Uh, it's going in the OBS style dually. It came with a 454 big heavy motor. Yeah. So, um, I went with the LS because it's a lot of parts you can find out the market wise, cheaper to build. Um, just from the crank to the intake, it's just a lot of options you got to make the most power out of the engine you can. So that's pretty much why I went with it. Okay, yeah. So walk us through uh, some of the stuff that you uh, did here on the build uh, in terms of some of the machine work, maybe some of the components that you chose to put in it. Okay, so far as components, um, I went with a scat four inch crank, um, also scat rods. Um, it's got diamond race pistons in it. Um, for rockers, it's got one seven um, rocker ratio um, from Yellow Terra, I believe. Um, Holly high ram intake, Holly sniper, um, 92 mil throttle body, um, nitrous outlet kit, and um, just far as building it, bought the block in, um, got it tore apart, and then um, first thing I did was clean it, um, inspect all the parts. Then from there, I went to ordering parts and a line honed it, got um, the line honed right. It's got ARP main studs and head studs in it to hold the heads better and everything. So I aligned on it, then I moved on to the cylinder home. We torque plate honed it. That's how we um, honed everything here. And then we went to the surfacer, gave it a fresh look on the deck. And then from there, the heads was already ran on this engine before, but vacuum sucked. So um, I cut a valve job in it upstairs with the SG9. And, um, you know, we're cutting the heads, getting the free drops and everything aligned and um, making sure they sealed up and vacuum check them, then assemble them, measure my installed height on everything. Then I went and got um, a set of test to speed springs with um, 427 open pressure to um, kind of control the canvas in it. The cam is like 248 at 50, 248 at 50, 270 and a half with a 114 LSA on it. And um, perfect for when we go to and spray nitrous. Yeah. And awesome. Yes, sir. Um, now you got, looks like you got AFR heads. Yes, sir. Yeah. AFR heads. They flow 328 at 600 lift. And I'm going to be lifting to about 630. 630. Very good. And then, uh, you said you got nitrous on here, but your goal is about a thousand horsepower. Is that? Um, so my goal on NA, I want to make about six twenty-ish on motor, and then um, if I make six twenty on motor, I hope to make 
at least 1100 using nitrous and somewhere around there. Very good. Yeah, it should make for a pretty fun engine, right? Awesome. Jalen, anything on the uh, on the build here that we've left out or uh, anything else that you want to make mention of? That's pretty much it on it. Yeah, yeah. Not, so you've been testing it on the dyno here this week and mm -hmm. uh, having some fun making pulls on it. Very good. Well, Jalen, we appreciate you telling us a little bit about uh, this uh, 408 cubic inch engine here and uh, wish you the best of luck once you get it all wrapped up and in the truck. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Well, we appreciate you all watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything going on here at SamTech and uh, what Jalen's doing here in school. And as always, make sure you're checking out EngineBuilderMag.com for more engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.